how you describe the, the locker room right now. What, what are the feelings going through all, your, all the players' minds right now? Uh, well, after a loss, it's always, you know, always a little down. But uh, uh, we all know that uh, we got to make a couple more plays in order for us to get the win. So just looking back in retrospect, just thinking about the plays that we wish we would have made or stuff like that. So uh, we've been in this position before. Uh, we know what it takes, you know, to bounce back and um, get the win next week. I mean, it's always another game. Uh, our old offensive coordinator always said uh, the most important game is always the next one, only because it's the next one. So uh, we'll rebound. We'll look at the film tomorrow and uh, decide what we did wrong and what we need to uh, adjust to, and uh, we'll be better next week. It's been about a month and a half since you guys have experienced a loss. You know, does that make it harder that you know you guys have been playing so well and, and you know this kind of you know went went the other way? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but. Um, one thing Coach Mack always preaches is uh, we don't want to ride the roller coaster. So no matter win or loss, uh, we always we always come back and look at the film. So if we win, we come back the same as if we lost and look at the film. Okay, these are the plays we should have made, and these are the plays we got to make next week. So uh, we try not to ride the roller coaster. Uh, we've been in a situation before, like I said, so uh, we'll be okay. You know, I know you guys have done a lot of talking about wanting to win the WAC, and this is your first chance to kind of show that you could. Did, does it hurt? You guys, you know, to, to not be able to deliver in this first WAC game. Yeah, it, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, if you win every WAC game, most likely you'll be the WAC champion. Uh, we lost the first one, but we have probably about six more left. So, if we win the next six, uh, uh, we never know. We, we won't know where we'd be. Hopefully, we'll still be um, in a situation where we can still be WAC champion. So, uh, this is one game. We have six more in the conference. So, uh, if we get it done in those uh, those next six, uh, we should be in a good standing. I'm proud of you of your of your entire team because it seems as though throughout the entire game you guys did not give up. You kept battling hard. Um, completely proud. Uh, uh, that's just that's just the character uh, that Coach Mack is teaching us. Uh, he teaches us, you know, always give everything you got. Uh, play the next play like it's your last. Uh, whether we're down 21, whether we're down 40, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna give everything we got. We preach. Coach Mack preached preached effort the first day he got here. So um, you'll never see a San Jose State team on Coach Mack. Not give 100 percent effort on every play. How do you use this game to motivate yourself for San Antonio next week? Uh, just told us that we got to get better. Uh, we had the bye week. Uh, we had four straight wins. Uh, but you know, this is you know kind of like a slap in the face. Okay, you guys, we, we need to get better. Um, I always point to myself. I mean, it's a couple plays out there that I know I should have made for my team. So I mean, we uh, we have a lot of guys, a group of guys who all look who all look that way. We don't point the finger at other people. We look at ourselves and decide what we should have did better. So uh, I'll be better, and my teammates will be better next week. So uh, we'll take we'll take the loss, and uh, we'll learn from it. And next week in UTSA, uh, we'll come ready to play, I'm ready ready to show everybody you know that we we've got better uh, between now and then. Good, Noel. Thanks. We'll get the, we'll get some more guys in here.